Hi, hope everyone's having a really good holiday season. If you're new to the channel, welcome to Nexus Core. And if you're a returning viewer or subscriber, welcome back. If you're new, my name is Richard. I've been playing Vanguard and running this channel for about eight years now. Today, we're gonna be unboxing DBT-03, Advance of the Intertwined Stars, which is the latest booster set for Overdress in D-Series. This box was sent to me generously from Bushy Road, so thank you again, Bushy, for sending us the box. So DBT-03 is the third booster set in the Overdress series. The sets also closely follow the Vanguard Overdress anime. If you haven't watched the show, it's about a middle school boy named Yu Yu who encounters Vanguard after he meets the members of Team Blackout, a group of card fighters that meet up in an abandoned amusement park to play Vanguard. The show has a lot of enjoyable slice of life moments and showcases the cards that come from the D-Series booster sets. Vanguard Overdress is currently on its second season, which airs new episodes every Monday. You can watch the episodes for free on Cardfright Vanguard's official YouTube channel. So if you're a fan of the Vanguard Overdress anime and want to start playing with the physical cards from the show, I highly recommend investing in the D-Series booster sets and trial decks. You can check the links in the description below for Vanguard's online store and your local card shops. So this set is introducing three new ride lines. We can see Greedon, Gravidia, and Flagbird. I'll be getting into more details about the new ride lines when we get into the unboxing. Each of these new ride lines are adding some really cool unique playstyles and diversity for the D-Series format. So I'm really excited to play with and against these new decks. There will also be additional support for these ride lines in the next booster set, DBT-04, which will be coming out in February of 2022. Thank you again to Bitchy Road for sending this booster box. And without further ado, Let's get right into it. All right, here we have the third booster set, Advance of the Intertwined Stars for Cardfight Vanguard. And real quickly, I'm just gonna be going over what we see on the side of the box. So every pack comes with um, seven cards and then two cards are gonna be a rare or higher. And we're also gonna be going, hopefully see one of the three new ride lines. So we have Greedon, Gravidia, and Flagbird. So if you don't already know, Greedon's new thing is you get to extend your damage cap from six to seven. Gravidia's is using a unique new order called Meteors. And the whole goal is to fill up your order zone with a bunch of Meteors and use Gravidia's effects to use the Meteors in a way to give yourself an advantage over your opponent. And then we have Flagbird, which is kind of traditional, like an Aqua Force kind of style, you know, deck. Flagbird's whole thing is based on the number of attacks you're gonna make during your battle phase. So the more attacks you make, the more effects you're gonna get for Flagbird's skills. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and start opening up this box. Today's special tool is going to be Wacom Pen. Oh, there we go. Didn't break off the tip. Cool, it's got that slipped off. Peel the packaging off. All right. Pop this open and inside, oh, that's really cool, look at that. So every new booster box comes with these markers. That's really cool. We have some that says it can attack from the back row, so that's good for Magnolia. We have Dark Knight, uh, it has an extra drive, loses power, uh, things gaining boost the over trigger effect. And on the other side, we have Final Rush, Abyssal Dark Knight for Orphist. If things gain intercept, gain a critical, its power becomes zero or he loses a drive check. So these are actually really nice that we're gonna be having these, having access to these for, for games. And it comes one per box. This is really awesome. Let's see what else is in here. We have an ad for the Vanguard Overdress anime. I went over this kind of briefly. Uh, pamphlet opens up for Vanguard Zero. Groovy mix for D4DJ, so that's pretty cool. So there's a little advertisement for the other things that Bush Road has to offer for players. All right, and then going into the booster box. So each booster box has eight packs per size. So there's gonna be a total of 16 packs in this whole box. So we have eight here and we have another eight here. So let's go ahead, start opening these up. All right, going into our first pack, wiggle the side, peel that back. Let's see what we got. Got a Brand Gate Common, Flare Scourge Dragon, Creed Assault, Carrion Processing, Solaire. Oh, cool, Burning Flail Dragon. So these are the new criticals that came out in the set as well. Every nation has a copy of one of these, which is a critical with the skill at the end of the battle that it boosted, you put it into the soul, you give another unit 2K. 
So this is nice, especially for uh, Dragon Empire. We have cards like Tanya, which can call grade zeros from the drop zone. So if you guard with it, you can call it back and then still use its effect to move things as soul. Um, and just overall triggers with skills are really helpful. So it's nice that we have uh, um, these triggers for the D series format. And we got a double R, which is Gravidia Stanner. So if this is in your drop zone and order zones have a total of five or more set orders, this gets 5k power and 5k shield. So the more meteors that you're gonna have in your order zone, the more this is gonna benefit from that. And that was it for the first pack. Pack number two. Let's see. Whoa, saw something shiny back there. Got a common, Dragon Empire common. This thing is gonna be relevant in premium. So I would say keep an eye out for this. We got prize trident. Gravidia Delon, so this is gonna be the starter for the Gravidia line if you wanna do, if you wanna, you know, do that. Uh, you can use any ride line like starter you want, but just for the aesthetic, you can use this. Uh, Brand Gate Critical with the new skill, we went over it earlier. And we got Virena Espectra. So that's the uh, cover art card from the booster set. So let's go ahead and uh, read what Virena does. So Varina's skill is overdress. So this unit uh, in the over, you overdress over a unit that is already in the overdress state. So overdress is whenever you uh, pick a unit that has the ability overdress and it gives you the requirement, which will tell you um, what it needs to be placed on top of. So it says you may place the stacking unit on top of a specified unit instead of just normal calling it to a rear guard circle. Usually overdress units will be placed on top of Trickstar, but in this case, this has to be on top of a unit that is already in an overdress state. Second skill continuing is this unit gets the original power of all the original dresses, which means active on your opponent's turn as well. And also it just combines everything that's stacked underneath it to total its power to make it a really big card. Uh, continuing on, auto rearguard circle when this unit attacks a grade three or greater vanguard. If this is in the overdress state, you kind of lost one and this gets 15k, 15k, an additional critical, and at the end of the battle, you put all of this unit's original dresses into the drop zone. So it's kind of like a go big or go home skill. So you swing, it gets a, draw, it gets a crit and, an, and all that additional power. So it's hoping that you're gonna be able to finish off your opponent with that one swing. And that looks like that was it for that pack. We're on to pack number three. Let's see, oh, I saw something else that's shiny again back there. All right. So we got a common, uh, more um, Seraph Snow support. We got some Cardinal support. Um, when it's boosted by a Shadow Army token, you can Soul Blast to counter charge. So that's gonna be really helpful since um, Orphis uses counter blasts to make tokens, so that's nice. More trigger support, common and red shooter, uh, soul charge support, and we got our next triple R, which is Cardinal Draco Desta Jade, Desta Jade, Desta Jade. <laughs> All right, so let's go over the effect. Um, grade two. If your world is Dark Knight, this gets 2K, and if it is Abyssal Dark Knight, it gets 5K. So I believe that it doesn't stack, it just, it's vice versa, so it does get the 5K. At the end of the battle that this attacked, you retire three Shadow Army tokens, you can stand this unit. So if you wanna get off uh, a fourth attack, this is a very helpful card for that as well. It does suck that you have to lose three tokens, but, I do feel like if you're gonna be pushing for turn and you're gonna be pushing to beat your opponent, this is a very helpful card in that scenario. And I believe that's it. So that was a that was our next triple R. So that's two triple R's down. Uh, most booster boxes have three triple R's. So we're already two down already. So we'll see where the third one's gonna be coming up in a bit. All right, so we got a common, uh, more Brachio support, Seraph Snow support, uh, Dragon Empire. This is Blaster support for Kedger Sanctuary. And we got a Hollow. So Hollows are cards that are usually rares. Uh, commons are rares and this nice uh, kind of like double R foiling. So this is a Hex Warp support card. And that's pretty much it. So that was it for that pack. 
All right, next up. This is, looks like it could be some, this looks like it could be some Barrel Magni support. Uh, this is support for Greedon. So anything, all these Desired Devils and these Demon cards, they're all supported for Greedon. So in this case, this card, what this one does is um, when it's wrote upon by the Grade 2 for the Greedon ride line, you reveal a Greedon from your ride deck, and then you get to draw a card. And then when this is put on the rearguard circle, put from the rearguard circle into your soul by your Vanguard's ability. If your opponent's grade through your grader, you can count less one. And until the end of the turn, when your opponent would call cards from their hand, they have to call two at a time. So Greedon's whole thing is it gets to attack again. So being able to make it so your opponent has to guard with multiple cards is a very helpful skill as well. Uh, we got more Magnolia support, um, more Magnolian support, Sylvan Beasts, Diablo support for Bruce, and let's see, when this is placed on rear, put this unit from your drop into your soul, look at three cards at the top of your deck, choose up to one card the same name as a card put in your soul for the cost, call it to rear. So kind of like a helpful search engine card, but has a little bit of clunkiness to it. And a hollow, so look, we just got a hollow of the same card we just pulled. So this was a common. So you can either, perfect example, you can have a common flat rarity or you can have a nice little shine to, uh, to some commons. All right, next up. Oh, this one's having some issues, but we got it out. We got another greed on support card right here. Uh, if your Vanguard is greed on, put this card into your drop zone, choose one of your Vanguards and it gets 5K, so stacking up some power there. Um, let's see, an order card, a blitz order. If your soul is four or more, use soul charge one, choose one of your opponent's vanguards attacking and it gets minus 5k, so that can help with barrel magnes if you wanna fill the soul, or it can help with greed on as well. Uh, more Gravidia support, so when this unit attacks, you search your deck for up to one meteor card, or meteorite card, and you put it into your order zone, so that helps you stack up the, the meteorite order cards. And then some drive checking support. So this unit, uh, if you Persona Road during this turn, you choose one of your Vanguards and it gets an extra drive. Uh, when this when your unit's standby card ability, so Bastion support, you can rest this unit, choose one of your other rear guards and give it 5K. So that can be helpful if uh, you know you can't boost with uh, certain grade threes since they don't have boost, you can just rest this to give something power. Uh, Death Inviting Black Magic, so this is going to be um, Zorga support. So this is a rare, reduce the cost by Counter Blast 1 for each card in your bind zone, and you can play this with Counter Blast 4, but of course for every card in your bind zone it just comes free, and it lets you draw two cards. So it's a really good uh, you know, resource management card for Zorga right there as an order. Cool, we have a double R, Sylvan Beast Gapreg, so this is a really important card for Magnolia. When your other unit in the same column as this unit attacks, you can Soul Blast 1, and this unit gets 10k until the end of turn. And you choose all of your opponent's rear guards, and for that battle, this unit attack, your opponent cannot call cards with the same grade as the chosen units from their hand of the Guardian Circle. So this unit's also really helpful because um, when you choose all of your opponent's rear guards, you're able, if they have a grade one on the board, they can't call grade one PGs, so, it's really good meaning that they can't PG this attack, but if your opponent doesn't have any grade zeros on their board, then obviously it means they can still guard with grade zeros from their hand. But, you know, it's still nice to know that your opponent can't PG an attack if you got that set up for the turn. So that's a really good card for Magnolia in general. So I'm glad that they're getting some pretty decent support. On to the next pack. Let's see. We've got Stun Voltec Dragon, some more Blaze Monk support. This is Hex Orb support. So this is a specific order or order card for Hex Orb. So it's uh, if your Hex if you have Hex Orb on your van or rear, it gets 10k, and you can count plus two and give it 40k. So it kind of guarantees that it's gonna survive an attack, which is pretty nice. Next up, we got a common, looks like flat group support, and these new order cards, these uh, golden art order cards, which look really nice. 
So for this one, it's choose one of your units and until the end of turn, it gets Van or Rear red text. When your other unit attacks, this gets 5K. So that stacks. So that means that every time another unit attacks, it's gonna get an additional five, 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 five. So that's gonna be really cool to combo off if you wanna be running this card in your Magnolia deck. <laughs> so we got the Gravidia Grade 2. So what this does is uh, when it's placed on van or rear, if you have a meteorite in your order zone, you soul blast three and you draw a card and this gets 5K. Rear guard circle is if your drop zone and order zone have a total of five or more set orders, this gets an additional five, or this gets 5K. So that just some really decent uh, 15K beaters is always helpful for any deck in D-Series. And we got a double R. Uh, looks like it's Bruce support. So what this does is if you're if you are in final rush, which is a Bruce ability, kind of plus one, put two of the rear guards into your soul and you choose a card from your soul, call it to rear guard circle and that unit gets 10k. So more multi-attacking for Bruce. So that's pretty cool. All right, that was it for that pack. Moving on to the next one. Let's see what we get. Ooh, card got snuck back there. And it looks like we had a hollow. So we'll go ahead and we'll talk about that real quick. This is a, looks like it's Eugene support. So when this is placed on Van or Rear, you count blast two. You choose one of your opponent's rear guards and you retire all of the opponent's rear guards in the same column as that unit. So for counterblast two, you're killing off two units. So that's pretty, pretty helpful, but it's pretty counterblast heavy. So that's something you should keep in mind. All right, for the rest of the booster pack, we got some uh, Bruce support and it looks like we just got another copy just in the common uh, version of that same Eugene support card, removal angel, some Flagbird support card, uh, getting intercept, and it looks like this is the uh, part of the ride line for Flagbird. And then we got Silver and Horn Beast, so we got more Magnolia support, and so it looks like this is another Orphis set order card. So uh, if you know anything about Orphis and how it works, whenever you set an order, it becomes Dark Knight, and when you set two or more orders, it becomes Abyssal Dark Knight. So you play this by Soul Blasting 2. Order Zone, if, if your Order Zone has only world cards, um, the following effects are active according to the number of cards in your Order Zone. So if you have one card, it's Dark Knight. If you have two or more cards, it's Abyssal Dark Knight. And continue uh, auto in your Order Zone. When your Shadow Army token is placed, that placed uh, token gets an additional 5k. So it's nice to make those 15k tokens even bigger. So it's a pretty decent card to be running in your Orphis deck. All right, so that was it for the first few packs. We're gonna keep going. All right, got another Dragon card, more Eugene support, Diffuser Angel, uh, more Keter Sanctuary, Sylvan Beast, uh, cannot attack from the front row, so it's a back row attacker because it has boost and 10k. Um, this is Hex Warp support because that's do with crits and front triggers. And then we got our third triple R, which is Diablos Returner, Derek. So what Derek does is if you are in final rush, this gets 5k continuously. Act, rear guard, once per turn, you can blast one, you put another, put a rear guard into your soul. Choose one of your opponent's rear guards, and for every four cards in your soul, you retire them. So for every four in your soul, you get to blow up your opponent's board. If you're in final rush, you look at the same number of cards from the top of your deck as the number of your opponent's open rear guard circles. Choose any number of the units from among them and call them the rear. So this card alone can help you fill up your board to prep you for your final rush turns with Bruce, which is really, really, really helpful. Um, and then for the rest that you don't call, you can put them into your soul. And since Bruce does require a Soul Blast 5, this is already helping you set up for that final rush skill, which is really helpful. All right. So let's see, that's three triple R's right now. Let's see, maybe we can pull an additional one. Let's see if we can get a fourth triple R in our box. That'd be pretty cool. All right, we got Common. Seraph, uh, Snow Support, more Devil Support for Greed On, some Angels, more Angels, uh, Best Harvest, which is a really good order card for Eugene. Um, choosing one of your Vanguards, and it gets the skill of every time your opponent's rear guard is retired during the main phase, you can draw a card, so getting you more hand during your main phase. And we got a hollowed out version of one of our commons. 
So we're gonna keep it going here. Oh, that was two packs. Let's see. This is the uh, starter for the Greed on Ride line. More order cards, commons, more Flagbird support cards uh, for getting power and based on stand effects. This is uh, Gravidia, uh, I'm not sorry, not Gravidia, um, Barrel Magnes support. So what does this one do? Choose any number of your normal units in your soul and this gets 5k for each of those units chosen. Return all the chosen units to your deck and shuffle it. So that can be helpful if you want, if you're worried about decking out. So if you're soul charging a lot with a Barrel Magnes deck, you want to return some units back in your deck, you can do that. But not really sure if it helps you fuel to the soul. And our second rare is uh, when your opponent's card is placed on a circle from your order zone, you can soul charge. Yeah, so it's a Seraph Snow support. So giving you more soul for the skills. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> we got an SP starter for Gravidia. That's really, really cool. So same, same art, we've already seen this card before, but look, we got the SP, it's got that borderless foiling wow look how shiny that is that's really really cool that's awesome all right so now we're gonna keep on going Ugh, some cards lagging back there so since we already got it out we got a double r this is um heavenly incitation above the clouds blagger when this is placed on the regard circle if your hand is four or less Canvas one, look at five cards. Choose up to one grade three among it and call and you shuffle your deck. So if you're struggling with building your board while you're playing Bastion, this is a really helpful card for that. All right, and following, we got some more um, demon support, uh, ambush kill smoke. So this uh, order card is specifically for Eugene. Uh, you, If your Vanguard's Eugene, you choose one of your Vanguards, it gets 10K. And at the end of the battle, you choose one of your opponents, one of the rear guards that boosted for the battle, and you can retire it. So this allows you to retire units during your opponent's turn, which can be really helpful as well. Uh, we've seen this one before, it helps you counter charge. And here's a perfect example of, a, of the meteorites. So this is a Neatness Meteor Shower. So you may have up to 16 Neatness Meteor Showers in your deck. When this card is put in the order zone, you soul charge one, and if it was put by a Vanguard's ability, you can draw a card. When this card is put into your drop zone from the order zone, you choose one of your opponent's rear guards and you retire it. So it has like a control style to it as well. So that's really nice about the Gravidia deck. And look, we got, a, we got another Gravidia starter. <laughs> um, and for our rare, um, more greed on support. When this is placed on rear from hand, if your Vanguard's greed on, counter blast, soul blast two. Choose a card from your soul and you call it to rear, so it helps you fill your board. When your Vanguard attacks, if you Persona Road this turn, you choose one of your Vanguards and it gets an additional 5k for the rest of the turn. So that can be helpful during the restand as well. All right. Going on to, we got about three more packs left. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Uh, very generic Dragon Empire support, more Bruce support. Um, Looks like, what does this one do? It's a grade two, look at three cards at the top of your deck, choose any grade threes from among them, so Bastion support, and you reveal them, put into your hand, discard the rest. Uh, starter for Flagbird, so it's got the water uh, Aqua Force aesthetic. Uh, Gravidia grade one, when this is placed on Van, you look at seven cards at the top of your deck, choose Meteorite cards, reveal them, put into your hand. If your Vanguard is Gravidia Nordinger, you Soul Blast one, Choose up the two meteorites from your hand, you put them into your order zone, and this gets 2k. So this card helps you fill your order zone more meteors. Um, it's the right target because when it's placed on van, it helps you look for meteor cards and adding them to your hand. So this is going to be the greed one for the right line. Uh, new uh, blitz, uh, not blitz, uh, order card for Bruce. Counter Blast 1, and you can Soul Charge 4. Then if you're in Final Rush, you perform all the abilities according to the number of cards in your soul. Six or more you draw. Eight or more, all your front row gets 10k. So really, really good card. 12 or more, you choose one of your Vanguards and it gets a crit. So making Bruce already even more threatening than it already was. And we got, an, we got another Triple R, which is Flagbird. So 
Flagship Dragon Flagbird, which is one of uh, the new aces from the Ride line. So its first skill is when this unit attacks a vanguard, you count plus one. Perform the following effects based on the number of attacks you've made this turn. Three or more attacks, you get to draw a card. Four or more attacks, your opponent chooses two rear guards and retires them, so has control as well, like Maelstrom did. Five or more attacks, until the end of that battle, this unit gets 10k and your opponent has to call three or more cards at a time when this unit attacks. So if this is the fifth attack, for example, um, your opponent has to guard with three cards at a time, meaning if they want a perfect guard, they need to drop an additional two cards. So that's really cool about Flagbird as well. And since you're making five attacks, multi-attacking is also really good. So yeah, that was it for that pack. So that's four triple R's and one SP that we've gotten so far. But let's keep it going. Some more generic Dragon Empire support, uh, Gravidia, Grade 2, Starter for Greedon, Angel, um, Zorga support, uh, Overdress support, and Drag Ritter she Shihab. Shihab. So this is a Eugene, kind of like a Eugene support card. What this does is when it's placed on rear, it gets 5k. And when you would ride from your ride deck, you can choose to put this into the soul instead of discarding a card from your hand. So if you just call this down, you can have it as a booster. And then when you need a ride, you can save hand, move this to soul. Eugene needs soul for its card effects anyway. So this is a really helpful card for that deck. All right. And now we're down to the last pack. So let's see what we get. So we got a... We got a normal order. Uh, looks like it's supposed to be for overdress support. You can have less one. Choose one of your vanguards and it gets. When your rearguard is placed, uh, if it is in overdress, you draw a card and this unit gets 5k. So if you're playing overdress cards, you get to draw a card and it's continuous for the turn since it's a skill the vanguard is getting. So this can be a helpful card for Nirvana decks. Uh, Bruce support card, Sylvan Beasts, uh, Knight of Heavenly Pierced um, Assalta, so it's a Bastion card. It helps um, restanding units. And High Rate Burst Dragon, so this is a, a rare for Flagbird. So what this does is if it's placed on rear and you have Flagship Flagbird Dragon, choose one of your other rear guards and it gets. When this attacks, if it's the first battle, you kind of blast and Soul Blast to restand it. So that's how you can get off more, more attacks with Flagbird. Uh, order card for Bastion makes grade threes have boost. And we got a hollowed out version of Cardinal Thing, Riosia. Uh, so it, it's just um, looking at three cards, choosing a world card and putting it in your hand. And then if you have Orphis as your van, you can retire this unit to call a Shadow Army token. So it helps you build up tokens without having to use Counterblast. And also you're trading a, you know, 8K grade one for a 15K Shadow Army token. So that was it for all of our booster packs, I believe. Nope, we got one more. We got a surprise one that was hiding on the side over here. Let's see. Uh, got a common, some generic uh, Dragon Empire support so far. Got some Keter, Heter, uh, Hex Orb support card, more Hex support support. Uh, we got the Stoicaea crit with the skill and uh, double R for Seraph Snow. So when this unit attacks, you kind of blast Soul Blast 3, choose up to three of your opponent's rear guards and you imprison them. If three or more of your opponent's cards are imprisoned in your prison, then this unit gets 10k, and if it's five or more, this gets an additional crit. So you can have a rear guard with a crit on top of the fact that Seraph Snow is gonna be triple driving. So this can be a really good uh, finisher as well. So that was officially it for the unboxing. Let's go over really quickly with our high rate pulls. So starting off, we got Expectra to cover our card. We got Desta Jade, Restander for Orphis, so getting off more attacks. Very key card for Bruce, which is Derek. Derek can kill off multiple units and fill your board. Very, very good. And then fourth triple R, we got Flag Trick Dragon, Flagberg Dragon. So that's one of the main aces of the ride line. And then for an SP, we got a Grade Zero Gravidia Delon for starters. Really cool, the fact that we're able, to, you can have, kind of start the game off, have an SP right there from the get-go. Um, but overall, I'm pretty satisfied with the pulls, especially um, since you got a lot of key cards 
in this set in general. So any of the triple R's are always good, helpful for these decks. Thank you again for watching the video. Thank you again to Butch Road for sending this set. And if you guys are new to Vanguard, I highly recommend investing in this booster set and any of the trial decks. They're a really good core start when you want to get into the D-Series format. And any of these triple R's that you're going to get from uh, a booster set is going to be helpful. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.